y'all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love readings for, oh, June 18th through the 24th. This is for the week of June 18th, 24th through the 24th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. And if you would like to book a reading, you can find the information below. This is for the sign of Taurus. For the third full week of June, June 18th through the 24th. Those are going to be used. The devil. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, these both represent Capricorn. We have Capricorn, uh, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Um, let me get a couple more cards and then we'll zoom this in. Oh, jeez. Oh. So, let's see. What do we have here? All right, well, there's some temptation this week. I think there is. There's some serious temptation. There could be lust. There could be manipulation. There could be um, desires that are at the forefront of your, of your week. It's at the top of your mind, okay? You may have lost some of your focus this week. You may be losing your concentration because um, you got things are happening. Things are happening, um, probably things that you didn't think were going to happen, okay? It feels like, um, geez, some crow. You're going to have to make a judgment call. You are going to have to make a judgment call in regards to a partnership of some sort, okay? You're going to have to make a decision as to whether you want this or not, um, you're going, you know, I think that you're probably going to be called to look at something from a new perspective. And um, at this point, you're probably feeling like this is a little overwhelming this week. You may be feeling a little overwhelmed with this decision that you need to make in regards to perhaps love. This is the Two of Cups up there. So with the Page of Pentacles, you know, you're really scared. The Page of Pentacles reversed. You are scared of... Uh, of uh, what is the right thing to do here? What is the right thing to do? Um, the Page of Pentacles is about integrity. This one is reversed. I think you're really worried about what is the right thing to do. You may be feeling smothered by another person or you may be smothering another person. It feels as though um, right now you guys probably have an opportunity to collaborate with another person in regards to love, to come together, to have a union, to work together, to be together, to um, you know, be a, be a couple. You know, you have to make a decision. Do you want to be a couple or not? And I feel like that is going to come out um, on the table this week. Um, and it feels like you may, somebody here, and it is, could be you, because this is represented by you, you could be feeling smothered, you could be feeling a little overwhelmed by by this choice that you have to make that just came out of the blue. You could be dealing, like I said, with a Capricorn, uh, or a Taurus, or a Virgo, it's pretty prominent, or a uh, uh, air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it feels like for some reason you are reluctant to move forward. You're reluctant to want to uh, work together with this person. I mean, it looks like that's the case to me. You may still have a little bit of um, your guard up. Your guard may be up. And you may, the Queen of Swords is very independent. So maybe you're 
you know, you have to make a judgment call. This is the truth here. Right around the corner this week or soon after or whenever this is happening, somebody is going to have to make a judgment call. Do you want to be independent or do you want to be in a, a partnership? What's it going to be? I mean, what is it going to be? You're going to have to make that call. Okay. You're going to have to become aware of what the hell you want. This page of pentacles is in reverse to somebody that has a wandering eye. Somebody that, um, it's like you're standing in your own way for some reason. Um, maybe you've, you've really lost sight of your goal this week and now you have an opportunity and you're, it's weird. It's because you've been through some sort of period which has, you know, made you really um, honor your independence. You've been through some sort of situation and it feels like the main goal is really a partnership, but you've lost sight of that goal. It's like you've lost sight of it to, you know, you're no longer going to live by that plan. It's like you've had this switch that went off. Okay, this is the basis of the reading. You've lost sight. You've lost sight of what you're really looking for at this time. And it feels like you're going through some sort of insecurity, instability within yourself, okay? Maybe you feel like you just need to focus on everything but love at this time. So you're just going to play, you know, you're not going to do anything stable and secure at this point. You're just going to focus on your job and everything but love. You know, you've been wounded by something, okay? You've been wounded. And so you're going to focus on everything but love, but it appears that love is here and now you have to, maybe you're going to have to make some compromises. Maybe you're going to have to um, really make sure you're using, making the, this decision based on your heart and not your head. The Empress Reverse, somebody is, is not using their heart. They're trying to protect their heart. So I feel like for some of you, you're trying to protect your heart by burying yourself in your work and not getting in a commitment, but it appears that there could be an offer of love here that you are quite thrown aback by. So it feels like um, there has been some temptation that leads you down this road to... Um, making this call okay you 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 give in to this temptation per se whatever it is and and now you you have to answer to it okay you do you do i mean that's that's what this is these are both karma cards both of them both of these are karma cards they're both you know there's consequences for your actions the whole nine yards this somebody may want another chance with you okay so keep that in mind there is somebody that could be coming into your life offering a second chance on love. Um, you're independent. You're, you're liking your independence. You're feeling like, um, you know, I'm not sure if I can make these compromises on my independence. This is so good for me. I mean, I really like this. But is that a heart decision or a mind decision? Are you trying to protect yourself? I think for some of you... You know, you're, you're reluctant. You may decide that you don't want to do this because um, you're, you're too guarded and you, you are not sure that you have any fight left for love. So I feel like some of you um, are, have a new opportunity for a reconciliation of some sort, whether this is with, I don't know with who, or this could be a reconciliation that is meant to happen because the karmic debt hasn't been paid yet. So just keep that in mind. I feel as though you are going to be tempted by something that you, you fear. Tempted by something that you fear. But, you know, and when this happens, it's like all hell is going to break loose within your mind, within yourself. You're going to be like, wow, this is definitely overwhelming. I don't know what to do. I'm completely shocked by this. Um, and I think that you have these fears that that this is really going to be different, whatever it is, that somebody, it can even make compromises and work together with you, you know what I mean? It's just like...
I think that you are going to have to really make a decision between two two paths. Do you want your independence or do you want this this relationship? Do you want a relationship? And this this offer probably comes in unexpectedly, and your 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 mind says one thing and your heart says another. That's what the Empress is reversed. It's like you have a you have to make a decision. You have to make a decision, and you know. In some arena, there was, this is too much. There was no growth, and now this is too much to handle. It's very overwhelming. So I think that you fear that if you give this another chance, it will be, you know, a lie. So I think there's definitely some fears here with this new uh, chance for a reconciliation, and you may be too guarded to let it happen. But look how far you've come. Look how far you've come with this Nine of Swords. I mean, Nine of Wands. Um, somebody has gained a lot of strength and a lot of stamina. And it, I think this is something that you have been waiting for. You've been waiting for this, this um, situation to come into play. So I feel like you you probably... At the, now that it's happening, now that you're, it's finally happening, you're probably overwhelmed with it. You just don't know how to handle it. Um, I'm going to get some more cards. The future, you know, you guys, there's an opportunity to work together with somebody. This is, this right here is the future. This is the outcome, okay? This is, this is, um, there's an opportunity for togetherness and teamwork with another person. If you will let them, um, in, if you'll let them in. But it feels as though your challenge is your independence. This is your challenge, okay? Your challenge is your independence, okay? You're guarded, and you like your independence. But the fact of the matter is you're being offered a second chance you, or another chance, or I don't even know how many chances it is at this time, but you're being offered another chance, okay? The thing is, is you, and it's, it's very tempting. It's very tempting. This is a karmic tie that you have between another person. You and another person is a karmic tie. You know, and, uh, and you know, and the thing is, is how this other person is seeing you is wounded. This person is seeing you as being wounded. They see that you're giving up. They see that you're growing weary. They see that you're going, that you're starting to have a wandering eye. Okay, because this is your wandering eye. They see that. They see that, you know, you're starting to really move on from them. This person that's coming in. They see that. They So they are coming in with this temptation to kind of keep you hooked and like they don't want to lose you for some reason I don't know why anyway it appears that you know this this is a, uh, a week of you know this is the basis the whole basis this middle card I feel as though um, what's happened is is you you've gone complacent you've decided to no longer look you've decided to play You've decided not to plan. You've decided to be more free-spirited, you know. You've decided to just do whatever, you know, and not really commit. Not really commit to a path. That's what you've decided. This person sees that. This person sees that you're, you know, you have a wandering eye at this time. That's what it looks like to me. They see that you you are, you're moving away. You're, you're moving on. That's what they see. And they don't want you to move on. They're reluctant to move on. So they don't want you to move on. So it appears that, you know, there's going to be an offer of some sort of reconciliation in which, you know, there is there is a chance that you could work together. You could. You would have to make some compromises. But um, anyway, I was going to get some more cards. Yeah, somebody is, is really, really scared that or they're no longer in love. You may decide that you're no longer in love with this person when they come, you know, offering. Or, you know, they may have thrown away your love in the past. So maybe you're really, you know, you're really scared that, they're, that they even love you. What are your motives for this? I feel as though, yeah, something has ended. Something has ended in the past that hurts so badly. I think that you are reluctant to 
love this person again, whoever it is. I don't know what it is, but somebody is very reluctant to open their heart. It's like I have to close off my heart because you have uh, totally betrayed me in the past, okay? And I think this person knows that they betrayed you, but they also see your beauty and they see that you're, you they see your worth and they and they see your um they see the connection. They see the connection that you have between each other. So this this is it. I mean, I feel like there was an offer of love that was dumped. Okay, it was dumped. Somebody got dumped along the way. Okay, they got dumped. And now this person may want to come back together and work together and give you an, another chance. Or ask you for another chance. Whatever way. It works both ways, right? And their challenge is being able to let your guard down enough to, to love again. And I feel like right now you guys are focused on everything but love because your heart has been... Um, shattered okay so i need some advice we were looking for the future what is the outcome what is the outcome here what is the decision you know i'm going to go down here again with this outcome i think that many of you fear being left out in the cold seriously it's like i don't know if i can trust you i don't this is really insecure so I feel like this is a week of, you know, being on thin ice. You have to make a serious decision. What do you want to do? Do you want this partnership or do you want your independence? You probably are feeling quite overwhelmed with the decision that you have to make. Now, this reconciliation that I'm talking about does, I mean, it could be from anybody, you know, because a reconciliation, I mean, could be somebody from a past life, okay? I feel as though there is an offer of love coming in for you and that you are um, probably really liking your independence at this time, even though deep down inside the goal is a relationship. The goal is a partnership deep down. And that's where I see that you've lost your focus. You've, you've lost what the goal is because of this um, wounded behavior that has caused you to close yourself off emotionally. Okay, it's like you've just totally, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not. But this, and this person sees that. This person sees that you are giving up on them. So, and that, you know, there's just, they see it. So they come in and they, they tempt you with this offer, you know, that is, is pretty damn enticing. And it's going to be up to you to make that judgment call. So be prepared to receive perhaps a message from somebody that is uh, beyond tempting. And, you know, this person may want a... Um, union with you okay a union a a relationship with you and you may have to decide between you know opening your heart or or keeping it closed you know it's a it's a head over heart decision this week it is so be prepared to to really use both okay the empress reverse is a head or heart decision as well but i was looking up here i can see head heart i mean it's it's clear you are going to have to, and, and it is, it's the truth, you're going to have to make a head over heart decision as to whether, you know, you want to let this person back into your life or not. And I feel as though, you know, you're probably going through a period of not wanting it. And you know how that goes. When you, when you say I'm done, that's when it shows up. So, um, yeah, anyhow, so this is for Taurus. The 18th through the 24th, we're going to get an angel romance card. For some of you, you're, you're really, really scared. You're really scared to let this person back in because of the past betrayal. And they know that. They do. They know that. But they, but they see your beauty. They do. They see your inner beauty and your outer beauty. And it feels like they, they haven't given up and they want one more chance. 
so I don't know what this is. And I feel like it could work if you could let them in, okay? But I don't know if you can. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Someone from your past is returning to your life. What are you going to do? Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. <laughs> That's your fucking decision. Excuse my language. Do you want the reconciliation or do you want to be free? It couldn't get any clearer than that. So anyway, um, there is an opportunity for love here. Should you decide to give this person another chance if they ask you for it? Um, it could work. It could work out. It could. Um, if you are not reluctant to see a new approach, you have to be open to seeing things in a different light. You need to be open to giving them a chance. Okay? This is a karmic connection. There is absolutely no doubt about it. It's karmic, and I don't feel like their closure has has happened. So I, I, it appears to me that there is a possibility for a reunion that um, could work if... You can get past the past betrayal. I'm on the bottom. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. There is an opportunity here. This will not be for everybody. Like I said, a reconciliation could be somebody from a past life. So for some of you, it could be a new love. Um, it is what it is. I don't want to hear any nasty comments below about signs keep that shit out of the comments or you will be blocked and deleted i don't i don't i don't go over that so um i will talk to you next week